from slide nerd this is weaves what's up folks in this vid i'm going to talk about how to find perfect squares between 0 and 100 now being bad in mathematics i had to google this out what a perfect square means but no issues the output is going to be something like this there are no inputs for this one just simply see 4 9 16 25 blah 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 up to 100 so first question first you'll be probably wondering what perfect square means is simple take any number and take its square root if that number is an integer then it's a perfect square like if you take 4 the square root is 2 if you take 9 the square root is 3 but if you take any other number like 5 then the square root is probably 2 point some 2 3 6 blah 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 so that's not a perfect square you need an integer after taking the square root that makes a perfect square so let's go ahead and see how this is done so here is what you have, you have the number 16 which is a perfect square because the root of 16 is 4 exactly right so if you have 17 it's not a perfect square because it's 4.123 now here's the trick here is the trick how you're gonna find the perfect square after you find the square root you got 4 right now round off 4 what is what are you gonna get you're gonna get 4 again after rounding it off but if you round off 4.123 you're not gonna get 4.123 right you're gonna get 4 or you're gonna get 5 that means if you take the square root then you round off the answer then the answer after rounding off and the stuff before rounding off if they are the same that means it's a perfect square like in this case take the square root of 16 you get 4 round off 4 the answer is the same so it's a perfect square here Take the square root of 17, 4.12, round of 4.12, which is it's big either 4 or 5. In that case, the answer after rounding off is not the same as the number after getting the square root, right? So in that case, it's not a perfect square. So we are gonna use two functions for rounding off. One is called math.seal. As the name says, think big, be greedy. That what that's what it means. You have four. If you have a number like 4 on the left side, on the right side it gives 4. 4.1 it says no, I want 5. You give it 4.5 it says no, I want 5. 4.9, no, I want 5. But on the other hand, you want to do some charity, you can go to mat.floor. Mat.floor is a very generous function. You give it 4, it gives you 4. You give it 4.1, it still gives you 4. It give it 4.5, it gives you 4. It's like this, you take a guy, you beat it up and you floor him down. That's what you do. Flooring a number to bring it down. That's what it means, literally. So on the other left hand side, as you can see, seal of 4 is 4. Seal of 4.123 is 5. So we are going to use this function and exploit the rounding property to test if it's a perfect square or not. So let's go ahead and see exactly how this works. As you can see, seal and four floor both have the same answers, right? For a number like 4.0, 5.0, 6.0. So it's your choice, you can use either one of these functions to test the rounding effect. Like, if you take 4 over here, you can either say seal of 4 equals to 4, that will give you 4, I mean perfect square, or you can say floor of 4, that is again going to give you the same thing. But in this case, you can do again the same thing you want, say 4.1, it will give you 5, right? 4.1, it's going to give you 4. In either case, what you should remember is this rounding off 4.123 does not give you the same answer right it's gonna give you something different which you should not be concerned with that different is gonna prove that it's not a perfect square so let's go ahead and see the logic you have the number do only one thing take the square root the answer that is the square root compare its ceiling or the floor whatever it's your call if they are both the same that means it's a perfect square otherwise it's not a perfect square so we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna test this out on NetBeans let's see how this runs so now I have NetBeans an empty project I'm gonna take a number equals to 17 first let's find for one number I'll say double root is math.sqrt of 17 that is number simply print this root out let us see what happens Num root control s shift f6 as you guys can see 4.112 blah 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 so now i'm gonna print the seal and the floor of the root and let's see how that comes out 
we'll say math dot seal of the root right same way we go see math dot okay now let's see it says 5.0 right so uh, let's do this for the floor and try it out so as you guys can see over here when I say math dot floor of root control s shift f6 it says 4.0 in short you can use seal or floor it's your call but notice one thing the answer is not the same you use whatever function you want it's your choice I'll use seal I'll say root if root equals equals math dot seal of the root that means and we are not interested what happens otherwise so we'll leave the else part as it is so here it's gonna print me the above root oh wait a second that print statement needs to be commented say control s shift f6 it's printing nothing let's put the number as 16 control s shift f6 yep perfect square it's saying that so now that we have done this for one number let's go and do it for all the numbers use a for loop say for int i equals to uh, 0 or 1 whatever i less than equals to 100 I'll take i is 1 i plus plus so we are gonna say for all the numbers from i equals to 1 to i is 100 let's paste the same piece of code inside cut paste now number is i right number is not 16 anymore number is 1 number is 2 number is 3 so number is i in short so have to make the modification control s shift f6 now it's saying perfect square okay wait a second it's not showing which number is the perfect square so we are gonna print either i or we can say number over there okay number plus perfect square control s shift f6 as you guys can see one four nine sixteen twenty five perfect it's working perfectly so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel i would love to hear your comments let me know what you think about this keep watching i'll be putting up more complex vids stay tuned i'll catch you guys later have a nice day